All right, guys, finally got the bike done. It's running uh, good enough for now. Um, by good enough, I mean uh, it's not it's not sputtering or hesitating or misfiring like it was before. I'll, I'll start it up for you real quick. It's getting kind of late, um, so I don't, don't want to run it too long. But I'll start it up real quick and, and show you guys what it's supposed to sound like versus what it did sound like earlier. Um, probably took the carburetor off, uh, got it probably three times, maybe, maybe four. <clears throat> we, uh, we thought it was, a uh, an intake leak on the manifold. So, uh, ap you know, after pulling the carburetor and swapping the slide, putting it back on, having the exact same problem, we, uh, we pulled the, uh, the intake manifold off because it, it had symptoms of an intake leak. You know, the mixture screw in or out wasn't making a difference, no stumble, no nothing. Uh, all the way in, all the way out, it didn't matter. Uh, so we ended up pulling it back off. We swapped the the intake manifold gaskets, and it, to be fair, they were, they were pretty bad. They were really old, dry rotted, uh, no cracks, but, but for sure really, really old and dry rotted. So it's probably a good thing we did it anyways. But once we slapped it all back together, well, you know, once again, same problem. So kind of scratching our heads, we, we pulled it out again for the third time and really, really just kind of went over the carburetor, cleaned it all out. Um, we went through the progression holes. Uh, you, you start to open the butterfly and there's a set of holes in there. And so we, we pulled the pilot jet out and got some carb clean and, you know, jammed the straw in there, sprayed it out. I covered the holes so that I could try to get a spray out of each one individually to make sure that all the passengers were clear. And I was, I was really hoping that was going to be the fix. And in the process, uh, we, we ended up pulling the slide back out and uh, putting it back together, you know, you know, just kind of double check and make sure it was all correct. And, and during the reassembly, I noticed the, the pin goes to the middle of the slide was on, you know, there's this like little plastic deal that, that sits down in there and kind of uh, holds the spring and everything in the center. And the, the, the pin was going through the top of that plastic piece. And I looked at the diagram, if you go to like, there's a, you just Google CV carbs and there's this, you know, CV site. All they do is like CV carbs and they have a, they have a diagram with a carb on there. And they have it, they have it the other way. So it's slide, pin, and then that plastic piece. And actually I have the old one right here. Uh, this is the original. The original slide that we pulled out and right in the center right there that's where the pin goes and so basically you drop you drop the pin in and then you put the plastic piece on and then there's a spring that goes on top of that and we had the plastic you know it's kind of like a looks like a foot almost we had the plastic piece and then the pin and then the spring and so I think what was happening was the emulsion tube and the main circuit were being activated while in low RPM which would make the bike run super rich like crazy super rich and that would make sense for the hesitation the weird popping the stumbling the crazy amount of black smoke it was pouring out I'm, I'm fairly confident that's what was happening and that was because that pin was sitting up too high so swapping that around putting it back together boom bike runs great so right now it's still popping on diesel and I suspect that that's because it's it's a little lean on the main jet. So now that the bike is running the way it's supposed to, uh, we can start tuning on that, but we don't have any jets yet. So we'll order some and then pull it back apart, probably throw, a, you know, it's not going to take much because the popping is not real bad. It's real mellow pop. It's not loud, It's you know, it, but it's there no smoke nothing like that and the bike runs really good so it runs real strong so i think you know i, I want to say it had like a 175 might have been 185 i don't remember um so probably have to take back part anyway to look at the jet but we're just gonna probably go one step up from there and then i'd bet that that'll solve the problem so i'll get it fired up and show you guys what it's supposed to sound like and uh i'll let you know what happens Alright guys, I'm gonna fire this thing up real quick so you can, so you can hear what it's supposed to sound like.